right, so here he is. No fat Tyler here tonight. Not a lot of body fat on this TJ Dillashaw, the former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. And he will go down, DC, as one of the best 135-pound fighters of all time. Across the board, people believe he's number 1A of 1 and 2 with Dominic Cruz. One of the best fighters in the division you've ever seen. A phenomenal wrestler. Has very striking skills. The high kick that he landed on Henry Morale was something to behold early in his first UFC title fight. And then the finishing sequence in the second Morale fight was unreal. 20-something strikes in a row before the referee stepped in to stop it. Just a fantastic finisher and one of the best fighters 135 division ever seen. And of course, he had the two huge knockouts over Cody Garbrandt, but even the way he dominates perennial yes. contender types like John Lineker and Rafael Asuncao, Dillashaw, when he has it all going, he is as tough and out as anybody at 135.
counting have landed for the great TJ Dillashaw. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so Dillashaw's cheek looks for oh! Another one, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Nice punch there by Dillashaw. Let's go. Advantage of an edge in reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. Oh, nice straight there by Dillashaw. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, that's big. Sides here. Nice. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, huge left. Oh, 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 body shot. What an end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round two now, Jacques de Souza and TJ Dillashaw. Do it. Oh, nice jab up top by Dillashaw. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Back and forth we go. Dillashaw's eye now closing up. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh! Back to his feet. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh! Oh, he is hurting for certain. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Dillashaw. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes. Straight right hand now, just misses. That one appeared to stun him. It's a right hand. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there. Oh,
All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. Well, the alligators are chomping throughout this arena here tonight after Jacare Souza lights up the masses here yet again. And he's a guy who, to this point, hasn't been belted with that middleweight goal, but still here as he gets close to 40 years old. Shaka De Souza proven to be one of the best 185ers in the world. And if he does get that title shot, we would not be surprised to see Shaka De Souza capitalize.